Digital investors, welcome back to another video from XRP and SBI to Vitalik Buterin. All the way to Michael Saylor calling Bitcoin like buying Apple, Facebook, Google, crypto ATMs booming globally. $125 billion Bitcoin breaks record for realized market cap in Bitcoin at 15K is now bigger than PayPal, Coca-Cola, Netflix, and Disney. These are some of the things that we're going to go over today. If you're a frequent viewer and you want to show some support a like helps a ton and with that said we are going to jump right into this so bitcoin at fifteen thousand dollars is now bigger than paypal coca-cola netflix and disney surging from 190 billion to around 280 billion in recent months surpassing some big name companies including banks by market capitalization bitcoin is equivalent to the 18th largest commercial company in the u.s if bitcoin's valuation is compared to publicly listed firms in the u.s it would match the 18th biggest firm the 17th largest company in the u.s is home depot with a market cap of 306 billion and verizon falls behind it with a 242 billion valuation so right here these are all of the companies i guess in order and right now bitcoin is number 18 and that is really crazy guys because the bull run has not even started yet and bitcoin is already at number 18 so my question is when not if will bitcoin be number one because as we know the flood of money um has not even poured into bitcoin in the slightest at this point right like when we talk about the grand scheme of things the amount of money that comes into bitcoin is a safe haven asset Asset, uh, this is nothing. And I, I think one day Bitcoin will be worth more uh, than any publicly traded company. And it might not be Bitcoin. Maybe it'll be a different cryptocurrency. But I think wealth will be put into some type of cryptocurrency that is 100% worth more than any publicly traded company. I might be wrong, but let me know what you guys think too. I think it's definitely possible. Now, we also have at $125 billion, Bitcoin breaks record for the realized market cap. So it's market cap for today hit an all-time high bitcoin reached an all-time high of 125 billion in realized market capitalization an increase of 10 billion in a month this comes as bitcoin yesterday hit fifteen thousand nine hundred three dollars its highest price since the tail end of the 2017 bitcoin bubble for those of you who don't know what a realized market cap is a realized market cap attempts to calculate how big the active market cap for bitcoin is since there's no point in taking into account a massive amount of of Bitcoin that hasn't changed hands for a long time. And this is pretty interesting, guys, right? This comes as Bitcoin hits its highest price since the tail end of the 2017 Bitcoin bubble. That's what I was telling you guys a couple of days ago. You know, we don't have much trading history in these levels. You know, Bitcoin at $15,000, we don't have much real price action at these levels. So to be actually trading at these levels, uh, making patterns and, and whatever we do here, it's just awesome for us to be getting candles within this range trading within this range because these are honestly levels that we that Bitcoin does not have much trading within, right? These are new levels to really be trading in, which is awesome. We also have crypto ATMs continue to boom globally in 2020. New machines are now coming online at a rate of nearly one per hour. Think about that, guys. Coming online at a rate of nearly one per hour. That's 24 a day. Imagine a week, a month, a year. And again, these are the numbers now before before the big FOMO comes, before the bull run comes, before adoption comes, and look at the numbers that we are pulling out. It is absolutely insane. A little bit of backstory. In 2013, the world saw the debut of the first ever Bitcoin ATM when a company called Robocoin placed a machine in, Van in a Vancouver coffee shop, allowing customers to trade Bitcoin for cash and vice versa. The machine saw 10,000 in Bitcoin transacted on its first day. Now that we are a month away from the end of 2020, the estimated number of crypto ATMs around the world that allow customers to buy and sell Bitcoin and other altcoins for cash is about 11,665 ATMs. Remember, first first bitcoin atm in 2013 and now we're producing them at the rate of nearly one per hour it is absolutely uh insane and i want to know have you guys ever used a crypto atm um i personally have not used a crypto atm as of yet i've seen it but for the most part the reason why i haven't really been participating in using uh any type of crypto atm i you know i've saw i saw one i think in new york one time but i i, I haven't used any that i've seen because i don't necessarily want to spend my crypto 
You know, I, I really plan on these cryptocurrencies increasing in value. Uh, you know, I, I think they're definitely going to go up. So I don't, I'm not really using crypto ATMs or crypto debit cards or anything like that because really my goal is to just total here you know i'll definitely spend some crypto in the in once prices go up i'll totally spend some crypto once prices go up but as of right now i have no interest in spending spending crypto i'd much rather be spending my us dollars if you're also like me and you're looking for a place to hold your crypto maybe right now you're on an exchange uh then make sure you get some type of offline storage whether it's a trezor or ledger here i have ledger pulled up um if you want to there is a link in the description that you can use to purchase a ledger and when you purchase through that link it also helps support this channel you directly support the channel and i try to put that back into the channel as best as i can but you can get a ledger nano x a ledger nano s it has all different types of colors from pink to transparent to lagoon blue uh, you can click the link in the description you could you could test them all out it also looks like they have some sales going on uh, so this ledger backup pack you get an s and an x for only 149 instead of 178 so that's pretty cool but make sure you guys are storing your crypto safely if you guys are enjoying the video and you want to show some support drop it a like and hit the subscribe and bell button i upload a video like this daily going over bitcoin altcoins and everything uh that's happening in the crypto space so if you want to stay up to date then hit the subscribe button hit the bell and you'll be notified when i upload our prices for today bitcoin is deciding to uh inch back up we're at 15,518. we will see where the day takes us but things are looking uh really great for bitcoin and again i personally am just happy to be trading in these high ranges where bitcoin does not have much time trading in this is a very exciting time ethereum is at 454 xrp at 25 cents Chainlink at 12 dollars polka dot at four dollars cardano is at 10 cents our stellar is at eight cents tezos at two dollars and v chain is at 1.1 cents iota we haven't talked about iota in a while iota is at 26 cents our fear and greed index for today is at 80 two i think four days ago we're not seeing it now but we hit that 90 region i think we hit that 90 and as you can see 72 88 82 now we are at 82 again for the day now michael saylor says bitcoin like buying apple facebook google or amazon 10 years ago and keep in mind we just went over this right remember bitcoin is number 18 so to hear michael saylor talk about this you know it, it's almost like you kind of believe in these are publicly traded companies do you believe that bitcoin can be worth more than a publicly traded company if you do then Bitcoin is going to give you significantly more ROI than even buying a company like Apple, Facebook, Google, or Amazon, which is really just insane to think about. For those of you who don't know who Michael Saylor is, he's the CEO of MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy owns uh, over $400 million worth of Bitcoin. And I think Michael Saylor himself, he owns, uh, it's a, a lot of Bitcoin. Maybe this article will mention it. So in an interview, Saylor says that Bitcoin is not only a hedge against asset inflation, but also serves as the first true and possibly dominant digital monetary network sailor goes on to liken the cryptocurrencies use case to that of other revolutionary digital service giants he says and when i say digital monetary network i put it on the shelf next to google being the first digital search network youtube being the first digital video network and apple being the first digital mobile network and facebook being the first digital social network it's a pretty powerful thing sailor says that bitcoin store of value properties beat those of golds because the crypto asset is hard Harder, smarter, faster, and stronger. I don't know why that made me think of that old Kanye West song, but he says it's harder, faster, smarter, stronger than physical gold. The MicroStrategy CEO also urges that even considering Bitcoin's 2020 yearly gains, buying now is getting in early. So Michael Saylor says again, buying now is getting in early. And I also know off the top of my head, uh, I don't know if it was Michael Saylor himself or MicroStrategy, but one of them, I think it's MicroStrategy, their average Bitcoin buy-in is about eleven thousand dollars. It's a little over. I think it's like eleven thousand one hundred dollars. Think about that. That's MicroStrategy's average buy-in is eleven thousand dollar Bitcoin, and so many of you guys were buying below that point. And he thinks buying now, buying at that price, because it's the price he bought in, is buying early. So a lot of people think you know eleven thousand dollar Bitcoin. You know I'm too late. It's it's too late to buy. But you know some some of the guys who are putting in the most money, more money than me, more money than I'm sure most of you, because I'm sure if you guys are putting in that amount of money 
probably aren't watching YouTube videos. You're probably running corporations. So very awesome to see. He says it's got an upside that feels like buying Apple, Facebook, Google, or Amazon a decade ago. Where it could go from here is pretty interesting. We bought it to hold forever. I mean, as Warren Buffett would say, the ideal holding period on an asset is forever. If we thought that it wasn't a good treasury asset, then we wouldn't have bought it at all. Now, keep that in mind, guys, because MicroStrategy did say their reasoning for buying Bitcoin, converting their US dollars to Bitcoin was because of making it their treasury reserve asset instead of holding US dollars as reserves, which is what most companies do, what most people do. It is the traditional thing to do because the US dollar is the world reserve currency. Instead, they are personally putting their reserves into BTC. Uh, and as, as we know, other companies are following and they want to hold forever. So think about that, guys. All the Bitcoin that MicroStrategy is buying, if they sh stay true to their tune, will never ever hit the bitcoin markets again it will never hit an exchange and sell all that bitcoin is going to be hoarded and this is why people talk about these weird hundred thousand dollar valuations for bitcoin because we have people who are buying bitcoin like mad and they have no plans on selling they want to hold the asset forever insane to think about guys but things that you should be thinking about nonetheless we also have vitalik buterin sends 1.4 million of ether in preparation for ethereum 2.0 staking Buterin's VB2 address sent 100 transactions for 32 Ether each, all in totaling 3,200 units of cryptocurrency. The amount is worth around 1.4 million at press time. The transaction were sent to Ethereum 2.0's newly launched deposit contract, which went live Wednesday as a means of network participants to move funds from the current proof of work blockchain to the soon to launch proof of stake blockchain. Since then, public Ethereum participants have been able to deposit the minimum 32 Ether required to stake on ETH 2.0. The deposit contract now holds 38,693 Ether worth some 17 million. And we can also see that transaction right here on Etherscan, uh, this is the transaction which is hyperlinked right here. So the transaction is visible here. So this is the Etherscan. If any of you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And we also have financial giant SBI to test XRP in 6.6 .6 trillion foreign exchange market. Again, if you guys are enjoying the video, please drop it a like. It helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So Japanese financial giant SBI Holdings is preparing to test the use of XRP in the FX markets. The pilot will utilize the cryptocurrency to execute cross-border currency swaps. The test is designed to determine whether the speed of XRP can be used as a bridge asset to lower the risk of price price fluctuations that can occur as one currency is traded for another, as well as determine potential savings on fees associated with the transfer. According to the Bank for International Settlements, trading in the global FX markets reached 6.6 .6 trillion per day in April of 2019. Remember that, guys, 6.6 .6 trillion per day in April of 2019. Foreign exchange swap volumes are estimated to account for approximately half of the FX market in SBI, wants to use xrp to do what to do and execute those cross-border currency swaps i think some big things are coming for xrp and by big things i mean this this is huge um we've seen sbi working with ripple quite a bit right they are heavily invested in crypto this article even mentions and we mentioned it before on a, on a separate video the company al allows shareholders to receive dividends in xrp and gives gamers on its esports team the option to receive their salaries in the digital assets so people who play on the sbi esports team can actually get their salaries paid in xrp so nonetheless sbi is extremely bullish uh on xrp they work closely with ripple i think sbi is going to be a major player in pushing xrp at least in this uh upcoming bull run and the good news is they are one of many big players that are bullish on not only XRP, but crypto assets as a whole. Again, whether we go to, to Bitcoin, to Ethereum, to XRP, to Stellar, uh, to Polkadot, to Cardano, whatever it is, all of these projects have a lot of money backing them and a lot of big names investing into them. With that said, that is the video for today. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you drop it a like so the YouTube algorithm can help push this out. Also, make sure 
sure if you're trying to stay up to date on what's going on with Bitcoin, altcoins, and everything going on in the crypto space, hit the subscribe button, the red subscribe button, and then hit the bell, and you'll be notified every single day when I upload a video. Things are getting very interesting, and there is more and more good news coming out. And with Bitcoin at the prices it is at now, uh, you might want to subscribe to make sure that you are staying on top of all this, because I think things are going to get crazy. Make sure you're buckled up. Make sure you're holding strong. Make sure you're storing your crypto somewhere safe. And with that said, I will see you all on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.